Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is uh, Sichamba Jacob. All right, so I've got this question with me here where I've been asked to calculate the area of PQRS. Okay, hopefully you can see the shape or the figure which is right here. P is here, S, R, Q over there. So we need to calculate the area of this. The next question, we need to calculate the angle P, S, R, which is right here. So let's start with uh, the area. So if you can see the shape which is here, this is uh, a trapezium. So to calculate area of a trapezium, we use the formula. Area is equal to half A plus B inside the brackets, H outside there. So what is our A? Our A will be N of these, either this or this. You see, we have got two parallel lines. So we pick one of the sides to be our A. If this is our A, the other one will be our B. If this is our A, meaning this will be our B. So we write half A, we've got 10, 29, plus B, 17. Our H will be the, the, the length or the, the, the height between the two parallel lines between this and this. So what is the distance from here to here? It's right here, it's 80, eight centimeters. And then we do our calculations, two uh, into two, it's one, into eight, it's four. Here when we add, what are we getting? Uh, 29 plus uh, 17, what are we getting? We're getting a 46 times a four this four right here. So what is 46 times four? That is uh, one, uh, 180, so we're getting a 184, sorry, 184 centimeter squared. So this is uh, one of our solutions, okay, for A. If you don't want to use this method, you can uh, use this other method. You say area is equal to one over two, B H plus A O B. So I'm trying to, to separate this, okay? I can see that there is a triangle here. Hopefully you can see that this is a triangle. So I, I have to find area of a triangle plus area of a rectangle, which is right here. So what is the area of a triangle? This is where I'm using this formula plus the area of a rectangle, which is right here. So let me do the calculations. Uh, one over two. What is our B? Our B will be right here from here to here. And this is 12. So how did I know that this is 12? You just get a 29 minus a 17 here. Because 17 is from here to here. Meaning from here to here is 17. If you subtract 17 from 29, you get the length from here to here, which is a 12. So our B will just be a 12 times our H. It's from here to here, which is 8. This 8, which we've been given here. And then we say plus L. L now will be from here to here, which is 17 times from here to here, which is the height. That is our 8. Okay. So let me cut here so that you see what is happening. So we work out things here, 2 into 2, 1 into 12, it's a 6. So what is 6 uh, times uh, six times 8? What are we getting when we multiply? It's a 48 plus, and what is 17 times, uh, 17 times 8? What are we getting? We're getting a 136. And we, if we add these two, we are getting a 180. 40, 184 centimeter squared. So these solutions are the same. You can use two different methods, but you get the same solution. Now let's calculate the angle. So, so to calculate this angle, we basically need to use the 
uh, sokatoa because this is now trick. So sokatoa, so ka toa. We are supposed to use sokatoa. So if we see where the angle is, this is where our opposite is, and this is our adjacent. This is our hypotenuse. Okay. So which one? Which one is holding here? It's a tan because we've got it opposite, which is eight. This opposite is eight. We know that here it's 90 degrees. Actually, here we're supposed to put a 90 degrees, okay? So this is uh, eight centimeters. Just by looking at this point, we know that this is eight centimeters. So we'll say tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. Opposite over adjacent. So what is our opposite there? Our opposite is 8 over our adjacent is a 12 right here. So we do our calculations nicely, tan, theta here. We can even reduce. If you don't mind, 4 into 8, it's 2 into 12, it's a 3. So 4 into 8, 2 into 12, it's 3. Next, we calculate for theta. We find the tan inverse over this number, which is right here, or this fraction. So what is the tan inverse over, over 1 over 2? So you just press on your calculator, tan inverse over 2 over 3. You're getting a 33.7 degrees. This is in one decimal place. Okay, one decimal place, okay? All right, I guess you have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like, comment, and uh, subscribe if you have not done so yet. Also, share the video.